Hi guys, happy Christmas to everyone. It's Boxing Day. It's a bit chilly, hence why I'm not out on my bike. The roads are dry, but it's too cold. It's about six degrees and I've got no warm gear to wear on this bike. So I thought I'd do a video of the parts I've added. The Ducati performance parts that I got that fitted to the bike when it was new before I picked it up. And obviously some pieces I've fitted to the bike since I've had it and the uh, Evotech parts as well that were well fitted by me and by the uh, dealer as well. So, yeah. I guess with any bike it's just personalising the bike to however you want it, that's the great thing. Yeah the carbon parts aren't cheap but luckily for me some of the parts that no, I did get for Christmas so it makes it a bit, a bit cheaper. My generous brother, good man. Uh, so yeah it's just about turning the bike into something a little bit different than what everyone else has you know people do what they want to do to the bike it's you know it's a personal personal choice so yeah first off run through the carbon parts got the carbon front mudguard fitted these are all Ducati official parts by the way the shock guard heel guards Sharp spin chain guard and rear hugger. Yeah, let's love it in the in the matte carbon. Definitely suits the bike better. I guess you can call that carbon, even though it's not probably carbon, but it's plastic. The tank pad. Ah, and the ignition. I don't know what you'd call that. The ignition surround in carbon two. The other Ducati performance part I've added was the LED indicators which are way tinier obviously than the originals. It makes the back look really really sweet, really stocky. The other accessories, Ducati official accessories were added by the brake levers which fully foldable and fully adjustable I don't know if you can see in there that little knob in there that fully adjusts them so you can fine tune them to, to whatever you want. So they're cool. Same with the clutch, which has the lightest feeling clutch I've ever felt on a bike. It's so, so light. Superb. Uh, oh, the seat cow as well that was added. I know a lot of these parts I've run, I run through these when it was the bike was inside, but obviously you can see them a lot better now. It's outside in daylight rather than inside. And Ducati performance bar ends, which just look a lot smarter than the original ones. They're just a bit a bit rubbish, a bit plain the old one. So Evotech front crash bobbins, rear crash bobbins. I unscrew the paddock stand bobbins when I don't use it, I don't keep them on there, it's pointless, it looks a bit bulky, so I just take those off and add them, screw them back on when I need to use the paddock stand. So yeah, oh it's the Evotech hugger, which just fits up in there, but it's a bit grubby, I think we need to give it a proper clean up when I get the chance out here. And good old Evotech towel tidy which is yeah to start up it's got a tiny LED light there this lights up the room number plate so yeah that's it really I, I don't think I want to change the screen to a smoked one I did ride it a little bit the other day and my head was down I was peering through the screen I don't know if I'll change it or not, maybe I will, maybe I won't. Not 100% sure yet if I will. So the only thing I probably will do is change the petrol cap to the racing one. But I'm not sure, maybe. Maybe, maybe. Ducati have actually launched a special edition 959. Uh, it comes out to well over three, three and a half grand more than the standard 959. Uh, it's just got all the carbon parts I've added to my bike. It's got, and it's got the petrol, the racing petrol cap. But the main obviously change they've done is to get rid of the pipes 
and they'd put the Akrapovic underslung pipes on it, but it's just not worth it. When I eventually fit a different pipe to this, I'll add the titanium SC project illegal stocky little thing to it that it ends about there, it comes up out of there and it stops about there. So you haven't got any of this, just one pipe and it's about 700 pounds. Uh, I just think paying all that money for a special edition limited number uh, 959, fair enough. Not hold their money well, but it just, I just, all the parts I've added to this, it just doesn't come up to anywhere near that price. Obviously, the pipe hasn't been changed, but yeah, I'm happy. So, yeah, I'm happy all in all with everything I've done to this. It's pretty much there now. I just want to get out and do a proper test ride on it so you guys can, yeah see me on it but as you can see by the massive chicken strips on my tyres I've only run into town and back around the outskirts of town and my visor kept steaming up it's too cold so yeah really really happy with it just want to give it as I said let's get it out give it a good, a good proper run which I will do but it might be a month or so until I get out of it properly so we shall see we shall see all right can start her up she's cold but I'll give her a little start Everything I'd changed, uh, the spring cover, the heel guards, the, fin, the shark's fin, I did use some Loctite, some thread lock, just on the base of the, of the thread of the, of the bolt, just to make sure there's a lot of vibration, obviously, especially these, they end up shaking like mad when the bike's, when the bike's rolling, so just, yeah, just a little bit of thread lock does the job. I bought this Nano coating from RNG and I will when it's warmer I will put, pop that on as well and give that a go on top of it being polished so yeah it should be good keep it a bit stop it from flies and stuff from sticking to the bike too much hopefully uh, paint wise paint protection I'm not probably going to bother doing the 3M style paint protection you can put all over the bike that's in the Missenden Flyer. He's done it to his bike. Uh, he's probably as OCD as me, or probably worse maybe, but that's not a bad thing. Uh, I think, from what I've worked out, my mate's got his 899 and it's not got lacquer on it. It's the same as this, as in the paint with no lacquer. Uh, so probably not gonna bother. His has been okay. He's had his couple of years and it's, his paint's completely fine. No stone chips or anything. But what I am gonna do is fit these easy grip style parts they will be fitted to there like that and then this one I'm not sure which way around it goes it's probably it's probably that way I'm guessing I might cut that just so it fits in that gap there and follows it around there because I'm not really 25 foot five foot seven tall and my knees don't get anywhere near that part of the tank so I might just have that just just coming down there and round there because already you can't see it, but on one, it's already started to get a bit scuffed where my my leathers are touching it. So, so definitely fit this part. That's easy. That's obvious. That goes on there, and it's the uh, yeah, the pads that I use are from Easy Grip. I think they were the pro the pro ones. There was three sorts. So directly from their website, which you can see there. So yeah. My buddies have got these easy grips fitted to their bike, so I think they're the way forward. The knobbly parts on here are very, very small. Uh, 
you can get ones with bigger silicon rubber knobbly bits on but I thought these were a lot more subtle than some of them and I don't like the clear ones they always seem to sort of look a bit faded so it's way too cold to fit these I'll have to heat the bike up with a hairdryer and then heat these up when I put them on it won't be probably till the springtime I won't be riding much between them I'll just keep the bikes polished up as I can uh, and it should be fine but anyone who's taller I'm, I'm guessing that your, your knees and your legs probably do Rub more up with the tank. I guess they come up higher up. Mine just sit it down here, so I'm okay. It's out cleaning the M135 this morning. It's bloody freezing. It's my other half's car. She won't clean it, so I thought I'd better give it a clean up. A dent in the door. A door opened on to her door in the car park. Not my car. Not to worry, but it's a good fun little car. To get to drive it now and again, it goes like a rocket. It's is, <laughs> is super powerful. So, yeah, bike's all good. Not much else I can say, really. I'm freezing my nuts off out here. It's mega cold. <laughs> so, yeah, that wraps up that, guys. Just run through the parts that I've added again. I'll soon hopefully get out for a ride. Probably won't be for a while till it's warmer than this. So yeah, it's just good to have a bike to have in the garage to do things too and to look at. This is a very sweet looking machine. So yeah, it's just good to be outside as well on Boxing Day. We had a busy day yesterday, lots of family rounds, so it's just kids are out for the day, just the, myself and my other half. I think she's got a cold so she doesn't feel too good. I think I'll catch her on being out here this long. So yeah, hope we're having a great Christmas guys and uh, I'll speak to you in the new year. Cheers.